Hello buddy, I'm Assassin Ghost and welcome to the Kotlin Basics course. So this is basically a course for Kotlin so you can program in Kotlin and we already have covered two videos previously. Be sure to check it and once we do that, let me go ahead and discuss what we discussed in the previous video. So in the previous first two videos, we discussed how to set up an IDE and in the second video, we talked how you can write a simple hello world program in Kotlin. So in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the different methods to use a print uh, and use to print different outputs. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in this video. But before that, I would like to let you know that this video has been brought to you by Honey. Honey is a free Chrome extension which automatically find and apply coupon codes when you shop online. You stop searching for coupon code in sales, click on the Honey button during checkout and Honey will automatically apply coupon codes to your shopping cart. Just click the link given in the description down below to learn more. Okay, so now let's begin. Start your IDE and in the previous video, we created hello world.kd. Now let's go ahead, right click on the SRC, go to new, create a new Kotlin files rest class and name it something like let's just say print so basically print function press ok and as we discussed previously it is going to name it print.kd .kd is the extension for kotlin so now just go ahead and start with our main function which is the fun main and we'll pass the arguments in the form of an array with the data type string Okay, so this is our main function. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at the previous function which we used. It was the print function and we used it to display something like, oh sorry, hello world. So basically if I run it, I'll get a, I'll get a hello world printed in my terminal okay so in the run window we'll get hello world printed so as you can see we have the hello world printed in our run window but now what if I want to print multiple lines so let's just go ahead and create another print function and write something like hello again so basically we made two print functions and I'm going to run it so let's just wait for it to finish and once we do that now you'll notice that hello world and hello again they're both on the same line and basically this is what the print function does when you print something and there is nothing in between it's just going to print it uh, print everything in the same line but if you want to print things in different lines what you need to do is just print uh, just add two words print Allen print Len, uh, like other people like to call it so it's basically print Len or print Allen so basically what it does is it's going to add a add a indentions before the actual program which you're going to type so basically you need to add um, in this example we did print len and then we typed hello again so if you notice in the run window we have the hello world and hello again in the same line but we have a space in the second line basically println what println does it, it adds a second line after it is finished printing so if you want a space between hello world and hello again all you need to do is type println in the first uh, first one and then run it once we run it you will see that due to the first println we got a, a we got a, um, a space in between the lines and after the second print run 
we got another space. So this is basically the print function in Kotlin, which you are going to use a lot. And this was basically it. In this video, we learned how to use the println function to add a line after the output. So basically, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out the sponsor for the video, Honey. And as always, thanks for watching.